The next great event which will be discussed is mentioned in a narration found in Sahih Muslim, number 375. The Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, warned that the final hour will not come until they are Muslims left on earth who call upon Allah, the Exalted. This great event indicates the importance of not merely accepting Islam with the tongue without supporting it through actions, the sincere obedience of Allah, the Exalted. This involves fulfilling his commands, refraining from his prohibitions, and by facing destiny with patience according to the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Those who are only Muslims by name, do not call upon nor rely upon Allah, the Exalted, in the same way as those who obey him. Another narration concerning the end of time found in Sunan ibn Majah, number 4049, even indicates the importance of not blindly imitating others in accepting Islam, such as one's family, without gaining and acting on Islamic knowledge so that one surpasses blind imitation and obeys Allah, the Exalted, while truly recognizing His Lordship and their own servanthood. This is in fact the purpose of mankind. Chapter 51 ad Dariat, verse 56. And I did not create the jinn and mankind except to worship me. How can one truly worship someone they do not even recognize? Blind imitation is acceptable for children, but adults must follow in the footsteps of the righteous predecessors by truly understanding the purpose of their creation through knowledge. Ignorance is the very reason why the Muslims who fulfill their obligatory duties still feel disconnected from Allah, the Exalted. This recognition aids a Muslim to behave as a true servant of Allah, the Exalted, throughout the day, not just during the five daily obligatory prayers. This involves using the blessings one has been granted in ways pleasing to Allah, the Exalted, as outlined in the Holy Quran and the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. This leads to peace of mind and body in both worlds. Chapter 16 and Nal, verse 97. Whoever does righteousness, whether male or female, while he is a believer, we will surely cause him to live a good life, and we will surely give them their reward in the hereafter according to the best of what they used to do. Only through this will Muslims fulfill true servanthood to Allah, the Exalted. And this is the weapon which overcomes all difficulties a Muslim faces during their life. If they do not possess this, they will face difficulties without gaining reward. In fact, it will only lead to more difficulties in both worlds. Performing the obligatory duties through blind imitation may fulfill the obligation, but it will not safely guide one through every difficulty in order to reach the proximity of Allah, the Exalted, in both worlds. In fact, in most cases, blind imitation will lead to one eventually abandoning their obligatory duties. This Muslim will only fulfill their duties in times of difficulty, and turn away from them in times of ease or vice versa. To conclude, one must understand that blind imitation is unacceptable in Islam, as each Muslim must recognize the truthfulness of Islam through clear proofs and know their purpose of creation, so that they can fulfill it during every moment and breath. Blind imitation may cause one to remain a Muslim, but it will not keep one firm on the sincere obedience of Allah, the Exalted, during every situation, and as a result they will not find peace of mind and body in this world. Chapter 20 Taha, verse 124 And whoever turns away from my remembrance, indeed he will have a depressed, i.e. difficult life. And chapter 12 Yusuf, verse 108 Say, this is my way, I invite to Allah with insight, I and those who follow me. Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts and blogs available on our website www.shakepod.com